Well, welcome oh. to the fish, Tyler Patterson. <laughs> Hi, how you doing today, Beth? I do wish it was under different circumstances. Yes, ma'am. However, it is great to meet you. You are representing your beautiful wife, Ashley Patterson, who is in uh, Emory Hospital right now in the transplant house. Um, hopefully getting to the transplant house this week, still actually in the hospital right now, but hopefully sometime this week over to the transplant house, yes. This is Beth Bacall on The Fish, and we are entering into a real sensitive special podcast right now with the uh, husband of a woman whose life we want to share with you right now. We want to share Ashley's story. Ashley has cystic fibrosis, and she's had that since she was a child, correct? Yeah, cystic fibrosis is genetic disease, so you're actually born with it. And so then when did the first lung transplant happen? So her first lung transplant, um, she went on the list in January of 2013. Uh, and we received the call on July 19th of 2013, and, and the, the transplant started. I, I remember having the conversation with her doctors uh, around, hey, you know, if we don't get this transplant, you're probably not going to make it to Christmas this year. Um, and that was that was tough. Um, you know, nobody wants to hear those kind of conversations. Kind of how this last uh, time happened, we were just going to dinner, uh, and got there Ashley seemed like she was doing okay and um we got seated at the a restaurant and it was going upstairs I didn't even realize it was an upstairs at the restaurant and I got to the top of the stairs and looked back and Ashley hadn't made it past the second mm -hmm. stair and that's when I knew you know we needed to bring her in okay so she had the first successful lung transplant and that was approximately five years ago yes correct and now just recently she walked up this flight of stairs and now she's in Emory Hospital waiting for her next lung transplant. Okay, and in order to do that, she needs to stay at Emory. In fact, uh, she's about to move into the transplant house at Emory in Atlanta. Yes, correct. Yeah, they, uh, her doctors really feel like um, they want her to get out of the hospital if possible, and that's why we're trying to work on that this week. But um, she's on between six to eight liters of oxygen at rest and between eight to 10 when she walks. And so, uh, it's just a, it's a lot for, for most people to manage at home, and so they, they really want her to stay close to campus. Uh, in fact, the night that we got her call the first time, it took us about two and a half hours to get to Emory that night. So, so it can be a little bit difficult navigating Atlanta in, in the traffic, so being right there would be very nice for, for going back and forth. But that's a lot on you. It is. It is. It is. It's, uh, it's tough. I couldn't do it without the support that we have. Mm -hmm. and. Uh, my work has been very supportive of me and allowing me to work uh, from the hospital when I'm in town. For, What's your greatest need, would you say right now? You know, we're uh, a little worried about our living situation um, because of just trying to get out of a lease in Smyrna and move to near the hospital. Let's back up. When you say one of your needs is taking care of your lease in Smyrna so you can be more in Atlanta, what what is what is that about? I guess we're um, we're just trying to figure out how we can move next to the hospital because they're they are uh, wanting Ashley to be near the hospital kind of for the time being until the transplant and then afterwards right now so they can watch her closely. It's just one of those other stressors and uh, just trying to figure out how to get moved and while you're stuck in the hospital and yeah. you know it is it's tough trying to put forward two places. Yeah. <laughs> um, and and care um, for your wife who is and, waiting to have a, a major organ replaced so she can continue living. Uh, yeah. Absolutely. That absolutely. is a lot. That's a lot. Yeah. Tyler we're really sorry about your struggle. And your wife struggle and you have a lot of friends here at the fish too mm -hmm. you have a lot of friends here at the fish and uh, we here at the fish also have what's called the fish wish fund and on behalf of the fish wish fund we would like to pay your subletting your we would love to pay your rent so that you can find where you need to live in atlanta closer to your wife we would like to cover what you need so that you can make the move that you need so that you can care for your wife. <laughs> we know you need eight months of rent covered and on behalf of the Fish Wish Fund, your rent is covered. <sighs> That's
that's one stressor, stressor you don't have to worry about anymore. <laughs> that's one stressor that can be removed right now. She's been through a lot, and um, she's really been there for me, and we've really grown closer together and closer to God through through all of this, and it makes you put each day in focus. And I know a lot of people say you try to live each day, but I feel like Ashley and I have tried to do that as much as we can. Thank you for sharing Ashley's story. Yeah, thank you. On behalf of the Fish Wish Fund, it's our honor to cover that rent so that you can have that stressor removed from your life and so you can care for your wife. I would say that the support that we've got from our friends and family really has just pushed us through uh, to stay strong through this. And I, I know the fish listeners have always prayed relentlessly and we've been so thankful for your radio station here. Mm -hmm. um, you know, Tyler, you're a really sensitive, special man. I want to thank you. This is not easy to talk about and you are not only so in love with your wife, but so knowledgeable of all the needs and everything that's uh, involved in a situation that you have very much taken on with your wife. We're praying for Ashley. 